at high qualities and 60 fps shout out to the levitating Liu kang i saw that <laughs> i saw that but yeah it's all because of the elgato capture card and man they are useful almost every youtuber and twitch streamer uses an elgato capture card almost every single one so Alright, let's go. Kick that out of there. And now that we're in the living forest, new enemies. These guys. Putrid corpse. These guys aren't really, you know, broken or anything. They're basic enemies. All they do is spit blood at you and, like, smack you if you get close. Like that. Sometimes they just randomly blow themselves up. It's weird, bro. But you have to watch out for that because that does a pretty decent damage if you get caught. And also the trees are alive and they try to kill you. Quit yelling at me, bro. I got you. I'll give you your food, bro. There. Thank you. All right, let's save really quick. Whoa, look, that suicide right there, bro. Got to watch out for that. They will randomly kill themselves for no reason. I want to try to get the tree to um, attack the enemy or at least attack me. Because the, uh, the tree has two moves, I guess. Which is to smack you around, and then he does another thing. Which is pretty brutal. Get out of here. Can I go through now? Thank you. And for some reason, these enemies only appear on this map. I don't know why the Brotherhood of Shadow is only on this map. It's really weird. Like, why are the Brothers of Shadow in the living forest out of any place? I'm trying to build up my mortality. Okay. See how they're underground? Watch this. I'm about to kill them all. Kill them all. Liu Kang's mortality is the most broken in the game. Killed them all. They were even underground. GG's, bro. So welcome to the stream, man. Um, thingy plays, welcome. i never seen you before, so I'm pretty sure you're new. Hopefully you, you know, follow and enjoy the content. But anyways, um, when you play a game for so many years you start to experiment and find out different things like i've been playing shallow monks for about 10 years so yeah i've done a lot of experimenting and stuff like that like i wonder if you knew that you could throw the um clay soldiers into this right here and it'll actually break only the clay soldiers though i believe i think hold on Oh, no, you can throw random enemies into that. Okay, I didn't know that. Affected. And they have, like, this weird super armor. It's very strange. That was a creepy hint, but, uh, thank you. I guess I'll kill them. Well, yeah, I'll kill them. Ooh, that combo. Where are they at? And also the snakes that come up from the water. You can throw enemies over there. And they will slowly eat them away, I guess. But let's get out of here. Before I lose more health. Back into it. I see you, man. And this game holds up. Yeah, man. This game is very good in 60 FPS. It runs so smooth, dude. And I wonder if anyone in the chat knew that is a Shaolin Monks veteran. Did you know that smoke is behind this right here? I have to throw a clay soldier into this first. Whoa. Relax.
because all he does is um give you missions but it's still awesome to see smoke Sounds good, Smoke. Thank you, bro. And yes, that is how you unlock Mortal Kombat 2 through Shaolin Monks. You just, um, 2 is so whack. <laughs> but I mean, it was the second game, you know? I don't like the super old Mortal Kombats. I like these Mortal Kombats, but not the really, really OG ones. I don't like those. All right. Okay, hold on. I'm going to um, read this comment really quick before we move on. Let's continue on, though. I don't want to stand around too much. But I'm still going to respond to you, though, bro. Just keep texting and I'll look. So now we have to um, put these guys or feed them to the snakes, bro. Like that. I just love how they spawn midair. Really? Whoa, okay. These snakes can be a pain because they're like, I guess you can say bite hitbox is so small. So small. So it could take a while. Like I remember one playthrough, I was doing this and it took me 10 minutes to get this done. Just because they wouldn't bite him. Or bite them. But we actually got lucky. Alright. And another save station. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and save. Alright, good, good, good. Also, um, the second health upgrade is right up here. See? And it's possible to get, I believe, without the ability that we're going to get next. But it's a pain to get. So, I'm just going to wait till after. Uh, reptile hides with the giant snakes. Okay. Thanks for the hint, bro. Get in the spikes. Okay, that's kind of cool. Get in the spikes, bro. Thank you. Yo, shout out to Reptile's Lair, bro. Okay, this part is a pain. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to stand in the middle and break all the statues that come your way. It's setting you up for the next ability that we're about to get right now. Excellent. Now faster. You got it, Lord Raiden. You got it. Good. Prepare for more. All right. Wow, I actually got that first try. Believe it or not, I failed that a lot. I think it's it's that um stream pressure, you know? You're streaming off your Xbox. Yo. That explains everything. Yeah, man, look. Okay, let me uh pause the game really quick for this. Okay. I'm not trying to put you down. I'm just being straight up with you, man. So please don't get mad at me. All right. We're doing brutalities now. Brutalities are awesome in this game. They're a lot different than your casual brutalities. You have multiple, you know, inputs. Dang, okay. Oh, insta kill. Brutality in this game is literally what it means. Just straight brutal fighting, bro. It's awesome. I love brutalities in Shallow Monks. It's like it's like a rage mode, if you will. You can't do brutalities on bosses though. But you can do it on sub bosses though. There's only one sub boss in this game though. But we'll see him later. 
Because it's kind of annoying and hard to, you know, gather three bars of fatality meter. Because you have to, like, save that stuff up. You completed the game without using it much. Same here. No, you cannot use brutalities on bosses. Only on sub bosses and regular enemies. I wish you could. That'd be so OP. A giant snake. <laughs> I guess that one hint, the last hint that we got was actually true. Dang! Yo, how is Liu Kang getting up after that? <laughs> Yo, that should have broke his back. He should have been out. Somehow you're breaking that. Mortal Kombat logic, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love Mortal Kombat for that. Alright, so basically we have to break these, you know... We have to break this, and I guess we'll just keep progressing. I don't know why Liu Kang went over there. All right, we got the first one down. Positivity, man. And if I have time personally, I'll check it out myself. I'll check out your channel too, buddy. But I got some stuff that I have to do. Because after the streams, I usually make thumbnails. And then I edit my YouTube videos. Or my streams and make them into YouTube videos. Okay. The final one. And he got yeeted. Fun fact. This is the only large health file in the game. That was the only one in the game. Why? I don't know. You only find small and medium ones. That was the only large one in the game. I don't know if they just forgot to include it in other areas or what. Oh, you like how I bring facts into the stream or like, you know, facts about the game. I appreciate that, man. I don't know everything about every game that I play, but, you know, I try. Get out of here. All right. Now, Reptile, in my opinion, is the easiest boss in this game for so many reasons. He does bad damage or, you know, he has trash damage. All of his moves are predictable. And his little, like, counterattack for air attacks is nothing but a teleport. He doesn't even attack back. See? He... he's trash. <laughs> I wonder if I can get a flawless victory on him. I doubt it because he's gonna do something in a second once I get him to half health. Ooh, you thought, Reptile. Juggle you real quick. And see, even him being invisible, he's still predictable. And then when he does certain attacks, his head pokes out. Or, you know, becomes visible. It's weird. Flawless Reptile. And also, this boss fatality is my favorite in the entire game. It's so freaking badass. Enjoy this fatality, man. No! 
Damn. Punched him in his shit. Then Reptile got pissed and ran at you. Then Liu Kang dodges like he's Ultra Instinct. Then rips his jaw out, punches him three times, and then breaks his neck. Shout out to Liu Kang. Fun fact about that fatality. Um, it was Kung Lao that was supposed to do it. You can tell by the voice um, dialogue. It, those grunts and stuff sounded like Kung Lao, not Liu Kang. It was, um, it was intentional for Kung Lao to do it. All right, what ability are we getting next? We're getting these abilities pretty quick. Wall climb ability has been gained. Use your new skill to climb out of reptiles lair. Will do, Lord Raiden, will do. All right, another tournament victory. Even though I didn't even know this was a tournament, quote unquote Raiden never told us. Shout out to um, fake Raiden. <laughs> Give me all that XP. Okay, before we move on, let's read some comments because I see the comments have just been going crazy. All right, we can climb things now. Let's go. You killed reptile. This is very good. Master, why do you say that? You are feeding the soul tombs. This is all we hoped for. How is this going to save Earthrealm? I thought we were here to stop Shang Tsung. I... Yes, Master Raiden. Something is wrong. Yes, but I am certain Raiden will let us know when it is time. See, man, right there. Right there. That's when you knew that Raiden was sus. That is not Raiden, bro. And Liu Kang and Kung Lao know, but Liu Kang is so like, what is that word I'm looking for? He's just so gullible, man. Master Raiden. <laughs> that pose he did, he got shook. you see that's fake raiden trying to put that in luke hang's mind and uh, just trying to manipulate him and mess with him making him cocky and arrogant trying to turn on kung lao it's crazy man all right now we got to get out of here i almost fell for that fire Dang, Luke Kang. Something is wrong. I knew it. Trust your instincts, Kung Lao. Trust what you know. Your ancestors will guide you. The soul tombs are the source of Shang Tsung's power. Okay, I see you, Luke Kang. Shout out to that secret. All right, we are finally out of the living forest where we're about to be. All right, we're out of here. Goodbye.
else does suffering serve? Here it serves a terrible and awful purpose. When someone perishes here, their soul and essence are collected and trapped in a place known as the Soul Tombs. These tombs are a source of Shang Tsung's power. The Black Dragon mercenaries came to rescue their leader, Kano, but were swept up in Shang Tsung's manipulations, just like we were. Master Raiden? Shang Tsung did not have the power to defeat you in Earthrealm, but here, here he hopes to reverse your victory in Mortal Kombat and take Earthrealm after your defeat. So Shang Tsung gets stronger every time we enter combat, and even more powerful every time we win? How do we fight that? Do we stop fighting? Stop killing? No. Your journey must move forward. But there is a repository of souls that adds to Shang Tsung's strength. Go and destroy this soul tomb, and Shang Tsung will begin to lose his power. Yo, all I'm hearing in my TV right now is the blue shell disappeared. The blue shell disappeared. Shout out to TWD98. That's my homie. But yeah, man, Kung Lao is smart. He literally figured out Shang Tsung that quick. The more you fight and kill, the stronger he gets, man. But then he questions it and he's like, and then Raiden's like, nah, bro, just keep doing it. Like, dude, if I was Kung Lao, I would have said no, bro. And yeah, I think just for the um, purposes we are going to, we're going to, like, not in a bad way, of course, but, you know, I just want to, like, do, like, two different parts of the game each stream. That's kind of what I want to do to keep, you know, because I could grind this game in, like, a day or two. Like, this game is pretty short, guys, and I just want to keep it going for a while. That's all. Like, if you didn't even know, we're already at the halfway point of this game. Already. Yeah, this game's short. <laughs> Dude, look at that view, man. Doesn't that look beautiful? Man, that looks sick. And you guys get to see it in 60 FPS while I watch this in 30. <laughs> because, you know, I'm looking at my TV. I'm not, like, playing this through a stream view. Man, that looks awesome. 